There's an old saying that every villain is the hero in their own mind. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. And what I've been doing with the Shane Dawson series is pulling little topics from the episodes to try to teach you how to improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And make sure the notification bell is on because I am recording three, yes three, videos about this episode. So yeah, I just finished uh, actually doing this on live stream. I watched um, Shane Dawson interview Alyssa Violet about Jake Paul uh, on YouTube, on live stream. We had like over a hundred people in there for most of the time and it was great, it was great. If you guys ever come into a live stream with me, you meet a whole different version of Chris. <laughs> but, but yeah, so like, Again, my channel is not to be a drama channel, it's not to spill any tea, like, this video isn't for Alyssa Violet, okay? This video is for you, okay? Like, what everybody just saw was Alyssa Violet playing the victim for almost 50 minutes. I tried for so long to change him, to make him a better person, it's just he never wanted to change. Okay, and I'm gonna break down a few different points in this, right? And like, when I was uh, doing the live stream, I was telling the chat, I'm like, you guys, you know what? Like, Shane Dawson needs me to go with him to the next docu-series. So like, and I, I'm nothing special. Like, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. I used to BS everybody. I BS people all the time, right? Then I worked in addiction treatment for the last three years, and I'm working at a new facility now, right? Like, part of my job is to call people out on their BS. And like, Alyssa did this like 50 times. Like throughout this entire thing, she just kept contradicting herself. And like, the first thing I wanna talk about is the lack of self-awareness, the lack of taking responsibility for your actions. Like, this is one of the reasons I have a playlist about how to apologize. People do not know how to own up to their stuff. They don't. Like Alyssa Vila was saying like, oh, I just wanted to do this. I wanted to make this video. I just wanted to talk about it and just get it all out there so, so I could just, you know, get it over with and never talk about this stuff again. Like she just wants everybody to know the truth, right? I don't know. I just want to tell my side. I don't really care like what people have to say. Or, like, what but like throughout the entire thing, like she never, I don't think once, I don't think one time she said what I did was messed up. All right, you guys can go rewatch it if you want and you can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But there was no point where she said, yeah, you know, they did this, but what I did was wrong. No, it was Jake used her, then Logan used her. They both used her, right? And she didn't know and she was just the innocent one and stuff like that. And I don't know, like, I love what Shane's doing, but I, I kind of feel like Shane needs to figure out with himself what he's trying to do with these docu-series, right? Like, what is he trying to do? It sounds like he's trying to help people, but I, I always say this, and I'll say it a million times again. The best people in your life will tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. So I don't know if just in that moment, Shane doesn't recognize how many times Alyssa was lacking self-awareness, how, how much Alyssa was playing the victim. Like. Alyssa hooking up with Logan, she she somehow turned that into playing the victim. And like, let me let me explain this, okay? Jake lied and said that I cheated, which I never cheated. We were never together and it was just bad. And by the way, before I get these types of hate comments, like if you if you've been watching my Shane Dawson recaps, like I am not specifically targeting Alyssa. Like Anybody who's popped up in this, I'm like, oh my God. Like, pretty much everybody. You'll see me saying the exact same things about Jake. I almost guarantee it. So Alyssa talks about how Jake was using her, right? Like, from what it under, uh, from what it sounds like, they made an agreement, okay? Like, Jake knew that he can get clicks by putting her in thumbnails, and she knew that she would get recognized and it would help out her modeling if she did the same thing. So there was like mutual using, and by the way, I'm gonna dive more into that in other topics, but like they were both at fault. Like, I just wanna make it very clear. So 
When I started working on my mental health, part of the thing that I had to do was go through and write down a complete inventory of me, right? I had to write down all the people who had hurt me and I had to look at it, I had to stare at it, I had to write about it, I had to write about what they did, how they hurt me. I had to write about all that stuff, everything from my childhood. But then I had to write about what was my part in it? What did I do? What did I do wrong in this situation, right? Like, that's very important and nobody looks at that. And this is why I make videos for all of you and try to give you the context of what's going on in these uh, YouTube videos. Like, nobody looks at their part. Everybody's like, I, I made a video yesterday about uh, uh, Jeffree Star and how he's a drama magnet. Jeffrey's, Jeffrey, you know, he wonders why this drama is just always uh, uh, attracted to him. Like, what decisions are these people making? What decisions are you making that's putting you in a situation later on to be hurt, all right? But the contradictions were just baffling me. I kept pausing it when I was doing the live stream. So, for example, Alyssa Violet went and hooked up with Logan Paul. She hooked up with Jake Paul's brother, and Alyssa, said, oh my God, I don't want Jake to know about this. I don't want Jake to know about this. And this is a manipulation of Shane, by the way. She's trying to let Shane know, I'm a good person. I told Logan that I don't want Jake to know about this. I don't want to hurt Jake. Even though she intentionally did that to get back at Jake. All right, so bear with me for a second. So now she's manipulating Shane by saying, I told him not to tell Jake. Okay, you're following me. Me and Logan hooked up and I don't even feel comfortable saying that alone. Well, after that, she talks about the diss tracks, the diss tracks during the summer. She says, and I quote, they were just a fun thing that we did. Okay, so she says they were just a fun thing that we did. No malicious intent, nothing like that. They were just a fun thing that we did. So then she makes a diss track with Logan Paul and she plays the victim again. Now, let me, let me make this perfectly clear. I don't like Logan Paul. I think Logan Paul's a bad person. I think he's a terrible influence. But like, I'll call him out for all of these things. But Alyssa Violet playing the victim and saying, after we recorded it, I asked him not to post it because I thought it was mean. Are you kidding me right now, Alyssa? Like, your come to Jesus moment needed to happen before you recorded it. Like, I just wanna, I just wanna just kind of give you guys perspective, okay? Like, look at a music video. Look at these music videos that the, these people are making. Like, I think they're dumb and terrible, but in, either way, they're investing time and money in these things. Like, Alyssa is a very self-centered and selfish person. There were, they had to get a bunch of people down there to record this video, right? Logan Paul probably invested money, or his business invested money to record this video. We're talking about directors, we're talking about editors, we're talking about all these people. For music videos, you actually record the track and then you make the video. So I just want you to kind of play this tape out in your mind about how much work went into it. Then after it was all done, Alyssa goes and she says, and then I didn't want him to post it. And then the music gets kind of dramatic and she tells Shane, he told me, nope, there's nothing you can do. Legally, I can post this video. So she's trying to play the victim and say, I asked him not to do it, ah. right? Like, I I'm sorry, but I would have posted it too. I'd be like, sorry, girl. Like, you would have needed to figure this out. Like, I was saying in the chat, like, I do not tolerate BS in my life. This, this, is some, this was completely Alyssa's fault and she needs to own that. She needs to own it. She should have said to Shane right there, you know, in hindsight, I should have never done it in the first place. But here's where her contradictions and lack of self-awareness get even worse. That video, I looked this up, that video was posted uh, June 9th of 2017, okay? And it's her video with Logan Paul talking about how she's hooking up with Logan instead of Jake. And by the way, mind you, earlier she said she didn't want Jake to know. So why would she publicly making a video, pushing it in her face, to Jake that she's hooking up with Logan, all right? But the very next day, Rice Gum posted a video with Alyssa Violet, and Alyssa Violet was doing the same thing and shoving it in Jake's face that she was hooking up with Logan. So yeah, Alyssa Violet has a problem playing the victim. And, and this, is why, this is why I tell all of you guys, this is why I tell all of you guys, you need to keep people in your life who are not just yes men or yes women. You gotta have people in your life who call you out on your BS. You have to. Or, and, and, and if not, you're gonna stay the victim your entire life. Like, this is from personal experience. I used to hang out with nothing but enablers. Here's a quick story. Four months before I got clean, I wasn't allowed to see my son. My son's mom said, I'm not letting you see Dylan anymore until 
you get sober until you get your act together. And I'm like, screw you, right? And I was a terrible person. I kept drinking, I kept using. And I hung out with enablers. All I did was hung, hang out with enablers. I would go to the bar with them, I would get drunk. I'd be like, can you believe her keeping, keeping my son away from me? And they'd be like, yeah, man, screw her, screw her. So they were feeding into my BS. This is one of the reasons why I tell you guys to stop it and become self-aware. I had people in my life making me feel like it was her fault that I was drinking and using and couldn't see my son. But when I, when I got sober and I started keeping people around who called me out on my BS, they let me know like, I was the screw up. It was me. That was my fault. It wasn't her fault that I couldn't see my son. It was my fault. So this is why I try to take these lessons and teach them to all of you. You gotta be self-aware. You gotta take responsibility for your own actions. And you gotta hang out with people who call you out on your BS because a lot of us, a lot of us have a problem with self-awareness. Like as much as my beautiful girlfriend just riles me up sometimes when she calls me out on my stuff, I need that in my life. Because my brain tells me, like I said in the intro, I'm always the hero of my own story, all right? So I hope that makes sense to all of you. But anyways, again, I'm making two more videos about this, but let me know this down in the comments below. Do you hang out with people who tell you what you need to hear or what you want to hear? All right, let's talk in the comments. But that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And if you would like to support the channel on Patreon and get your name up here, make sure to click or tap on that icon right there. All right, thanks again for watching. Be self-aware, and I'll see you next time.